The Environment Department is sounding the alarm on the state of garbage in Metro Manila, noting that we've already surpassed the full-year target in just six months, Shaila Francisco reports. We are now in the middle of a garbage crisis. This is how Environment Secretary Roy Simato described the situation in Metro Manila after months of rehabilitating Manila Bay. With an estimated population of 12.8 million, Metro Manila has a target waste generation of only more than 50,000 cubic meters. But in the first half of the year alone, over 60,000 cubic meters of waste has been produced. One problem, says Simatu, the informal settlers beside creeks, over 55,000 of them. After we clean up, just uh, leave behind a clean shoreline. After one day, two days, nandiyan na naman. So meaning, it's a culture behavior problem. Because despite our warning to them that don't throw anything in the... Nandiyan na naman. San Juan and Quezon City have been singled out as problem areas, particularly San Juan River. Pagpasok ko pa lang noon, nagpunta kasi ako, in-inspect ko yan eh. Right, nung nag-boat ako, nag-boat ako, tumunta ako sa ano, eh hindi pa ako masyadong lumalapit doon, nangamoy na. At saka yung nakakalat na yung mga garbage doon. So, saan kayo nanggagaling ang mga ito? Nanggagaling sa mga esteros coming from uh, Quezon City at saka right in San Juan. The river is slated for rehabilitation by January. QC Mayor Joy Belmonte will be monitoring if the waste and creeks are indeed from the city. Lahat ng mga, mga river systems interconnected yan eh, di ba? Hindi naman ng isang city, isang river. Single-use plastics are no longer allowed in the city starting February next year, while the ban on plastic bags will take place in January. Yung goal naman natin is to reduce wastage na eh. So ang gusto nating goal ay masanay na kayo, magdala na kayo ng recyclable bags nyo every time you go to the markets. The DNR hopes to emulate this with their own order in the next two weeks. For now, they've tapped more than a thousand personnel to collect trash and air in tight areas. I think within, uh, within the next two weeks, siguro may ano na namin department order prescribing already the use of plastic. But instead of banning, Senator Cynthia Villar suggests recycling as it helps with employment. When you say a ban, may kapalit ba sa packaging? That's the question. So we have to hear them kung ano ang alternative nila sa single-use plastic. There are now bills in Senate banning plastic. A hearing of which may happen in January. For now, Villar notes the DNR was given a budget for 2020 to help local governments set up plastic recycling factories in all cities and provinces. Shaila Francisco, we are One News.